Okay, so this is the Unsolved Saturdays review. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so each time I upload a video, you get it right up on your phone. So I want to tell you say we just have to talk about dancehall and a whole dancehall in general, you know. Today this week is not about a topic thing or nothing. We just analyze certain things while going to dance hall and we have to talk about it. So we just want to say People from Germany, people from Japan, people from China, people from all over in Africa and Europe, all over the world, right? Love dancehall music. Them even come to Jamaica. You see them have a thing called Uptown Mondays. They have only a thing where white people come to Jamaica, Asian people come to Jamaica to participate in it because them like the genre of dancehall music so it seems like say, we don't know what we really have until we lose it you have the Spanish market where everybody like our thing right from from reggae music to dancehall music it seems like say, the world like it more than we and our, and our ours right it's like a we invent something and the world articulate it and really like it more than we and we don't understand what we have until we lose it. So you see dancehall music, more of the dancehall artists them know say. If you cannot cherish what you have, because when you lose it, you can't go back and say and point the finger upon nobody else. The whole of the artists them, including male and female, play an important role to dancehall. And if we really pay attention <clears throat> to what really are going in a dancehall, we can clearly see it say it now going in the right direction right now. Right? Because first and foremost, dancehall is a is a genre of talented individuals, right? And we really, really if you know so we have to appreciate ourselves to be a part of dancehall. Whether you use a dance or actually dance, or you are actually an artist who actually sing, or you actually a selector or a DJ of dancehall music. We have to really appreciate the genre and know say it means a lot to the whole of we as Jamaican people home and abroad. And it means a lot to African people too, right? So we have to know this. When we have something we're so powerful, we have to take with time and deal with it the right way. We can't just run for international praise and then we end up doing the wrong thing. We can't just run for be the best and then we end up doing the wrong thing. You see me and say? Right you now there are certain things we can there are certain things in the dance hall we need to correct. We have to correct certain things and we don't want nobody to feel like say everything good, everything are good nice. And there are certain things in the culture of dance hall where we leave behind. For example, when we are clash, right? Dance hall was all about dancing and artists clash against each other. So we leave the party behind now because we feel like say advancement need to make. So of course advancement need to make. So nothing wrong with the part there. But what kind of advance we are, we are leave out, what we are advanced to, right? Because if we are going to say, all right, we want to be international, we want to get by international market, and how we, how we think so we get by international market? By collab with artists from America, right? Let me tell you something. America is not international only, right? And a matter of fact, America is just one place. Europe, Africa, Asia, alright, all of them places that we call international. We notice say Jamaican dancehall artists them just are focused on America, America. American dollars not worth nothing more than European dollars or the English pound. So we don't need to remember them someday, right? So we don't really try to sacrifice everything for them for, for being an American thing, for color with American artists and all of them someday. Sometimes it even worth it. It even worth it sometimes. 
because the people them who not run for collab with, who don't even know so them lifestyle is a mess. I don't even know so sometimes the the thing where them a try for for run towards. I'm not even know so them a run towards. Oh no, for help for them thing, but when I look on it like say yeah, for them thing better than our own. It's not right now. We can all go back to the selling out in the way I go on the dance hall. If we don't sell out the whole of the dance hall, we don't have nothing left. We have to know say dance hall are our one to keep. So when you not look collab from American artists and face and go on international now, that, that, that is a part of a mistake when I make. Right? I only need to study them things there and know them things there. You still want to have one of the roots and one of the background and carry it forward. You don't have to worry about collab. Then we run come collab with you. But you see, if you don't have to do things to impress them, for them collab with you, which means say, something will go wrong, there, so something will go backward. Because Jamaica was knowing for a place where of leaders, right? From dancehall music to reggae music, from reggae music to dancehall music, whichever way. So even culturally, from the people them from out of Jamaica was the world always look up to Jamaica, the whole of Africa, the whole of Europe, the whole of Japan, the whole of these places. Them look up to Jamaica to lead them in case you never know. So when you try to do it the opposite way, you don't really see it say something will go wrong there so you can't allow the people that we used to look up to you know, for lead for lead them. Now you know, look up for them for lead you know. So now if you take phone thing back and be creative with it, right? And make them a run come to Uno to look for support. I saw it's supposed to a gun. It's not only supposed to a sell out in itself and all uh, do this and I uh, do that for them soon and all uh, go for them place to perform. But not supposed to go so low on them thing there. Jamaican dance all artists, you know, if you get it together and stand on the grounds, brother. Sometimes money is not everything, you know. Sometimes the culture of the people and the way of life is more valuable than money. When you can't just say, alright, you know, I get that the money there for this, that the money there for this, and just run it down. Look on the dance hall video them recently, where I go on, where I put up. Every dance hall video is like, I may not even know if you say to it, you can't say it rated R. Because kids can't even watch them again. I went uh, since when we are go backward. Right? How comes? Dance all artists have put out music video and I be a woman and suck out each other tongue and be a woman. It's like uno you know, you know see there's something wrong. Uno you know really not see it. So uno you know if you try to impress American audience because the thing is Europe and Africa deal with dance and music even more than America. America not have time for this. Right? America is more of a pagan thing. So you can't really impress people like that. You see me I say so when you not put all them kind of agenda in a video and a try to help America confuse the world and confuse the kids that we are group up today. You do not do a good job. So you need to think Analyzing yourself, dance all artists before you start do certain things in a video and before you start put out certain things in a video. And every money you know, you're happy for, even though it seems like it's a lot, because in the end, money is just a paper, money is not everything. Right? So, this was Dance All Saturday's review. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so each time I upload a video. They get it right as up on your phone. See you in the next video.